Okay, so this video, we're gonna talk about uh, moving your stop loss and when to move it to break even or into profit. And so again, this is not financial advice. This is just me talking about my experience and what I do with my trading. And so, yeah, this is probably gonna be a pretty short video and pretty to the point. But for me, um, because of what we now understand with you know breaks of structure and the market retracing, I don't actually move my stop loss until I get this break of structure right here. And so like I've talked many times now, I'll go over my trade plan more in depth and putting it all together section. But in this video, I want to just touch base on the actual, you know, this specific topic before we get there. So for me, if I'm trading in this example here, um, I don't, I don't actually move or touch or do anything with my stop loss until this high is broken okay and at that point in time like i mentioned in the last video i take a 90 percent partial so i have majority of my volume off anyways at this high right because the understanding of what could potentially happen is price can um let's see can come back so we have this break of structure right here and price can come back down and it can then mitigate this demand zone right here right it can it can as soon as it breaks structure depending on like where we're at um in the higher time frame trend it can just come right back down and mitigate this newly created demand zone and then continue higher right and so at this point in time when price does this it could also you know wick this to grab liquidity and mitigate a lower demand zone here um and I do not want to risk any of, uh, you know, giving back any of my profit that I took already. So I just move it to break even. And if I get stopped out right there, then I either A, am already done for the day after I've taken this win right here, or B, um, if I'm, you know, feeling aggressive and I want to keep trading, then I would just look for another confirmation right here and just add in another trade. So in this situation, it would just look like this. We would have. You know this um that first trade all you know 90 percent of the profit would be taken here price retraces back down and i understand that because i understand the expectation of order flow and what could happen and i also understand it could wick this low so i move my stop loss to break even so i'm not going to actually move it but it would be something like this so it's just a risk free on that little um that little 10% partial that's pulling back. Now, it, in this example, it pulls back and wicks right where my entry is, and I give back that 10%, but that's okay, I don't care because I've already taken 90% over here. That's like a big payday, especially if you have a one to five gain on every trade on average, and you're trading a big funded account, like that's a, that's a good amount of money. And yes, it is a good amount of money that you're giving back, but I also understand that if price just jetted off without me, I'd be upset to some degree for not being in that trade. And so at this point in time, when price comes back down, I know, okay, I can, my expectation is that it's going to continue higher. Maybe it just needs this liquidity below that low to fuel the move. Maybe it needed to mitigate lower, whatever the case is. I know that I can always just get back into another trade. So in this example, we'll just take another trade. We'll take another 90% off the top and then move our stop loss to the bottom there okay or to break even i mean and you know then the same thing could potentially happen again maybe it comes back down who knows maybe it continues and it's the biggest trading day you've ever been a part of and that little partial runs that's why i move or that's how i move and when and where i move my stop losses to break even now let's talk about you and a few other options um, that we can do according to the last video kind of going along those same um, practices and that same line of thought okay and so for moving your stop loss and a few strategies that you can apply if you're not going to follow what i just talked about um, and again not financial advice this is just a recommendation based on like you know my experience and the options that are available to any trader trading on a on brokers like we trade so um, a few things going over the partialing methods. So if you are someone, for example, if you're going to close 50% of your order at, um, at a one to two, and you're going to hold it the rest of it for that high, well, technically 
at that one to two 50% partial, which I nec wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this, but mm -hmm. technically you just did move your stop loss to break even. So there's no need to actually move it because we understand that at any point in time, price could mitigate this zone again, and it could just stop you out or wick that and stop you out in profit. And then you would then lose that potential gain. Okay. So if you take a 50% partial at a one to two and you're risking 1%, you then have that 1%. Um, you're then, you are then at a break even trade and there's no need to worry about your stop loss because if it does come back down and stop you out, then, you know, you've already secured that, um, that little bit of profit to make it a break even trade. Okay. So it's the same thing in that other example as a, you know, taking 25% at a one to four, which is a little bit more realistic because then you're not leaving, um, so much volume on the table. So if you, for example, take 25% right here, then that is the same as moving your stop loss into profit, uh, or into break even that is. And, um, it would then be the same idea and the same concept as, okay, now price, you know, has broken structure. Maybe again, this isn't the best example to be using this. Maybe, um, you're targeting way up here for whatever reason at this point in time, maybe you take another partial, maybe you take 90% off at this point in time and then you hold it for up there, like whatever. These are all different examples that we'll go over a little bit more in depth in the trade plan, but I want to make you aware of these different strategies right now. And so that one to four partial or that one to two partial um, is the same thing as moving your stop loss to break even. It's just doing it in a, in a method to where you don't have to risk your stop loss getting hit by a micro pip and then running, right? It, it's going to be, you're going to stick to your original setup and your original bias and keep your stop loss below, ideally below that, um, that swing point that you don't want to see the market go past anyways. Right. Okay. And so I think that makes sense. And then the last thing, um, that I wanted to talk about was moving your stop loss into profit. Um, so if, for example, you are someone who is holding a certain percentage past this high, um, and this can be again on any time frame. it can be on the four hour. So if you're holding us, you know, you're entering down here and this is a four hour move and you're expecting price to retrace and then continue, at what point would you move your stop loss into profit? Well, pretty simple for me, I would be moving it in to profit underneath this low, right? Because, okay, for example, let's just say this is the four hour here. And we get that four hour break of structure. We know price is going to retrace back in to this zone and then likely to continue. Okay. Well, if you get that continuation and you get a break of structure and you want to target to a higher high somewhere or a higher technical level that's over here, maybe it's a daily swing high or whatever, whatever the case is, you then know, okay, it's very likely that price is going to then come back and it's going to respect this low. And it's going to mitigate this demand zone and then continue on doing something like this. Right. And so when you get that four hour, um, you know, higher low, then you can then move your stop loss up. So your stop loss would then be, it's not a very great example. Your stop loss would be instead of right here. Oh, at the, before any of this other stuff develops, your stop loss would be right here. And then after you get this break of structure, and retracement and then break a structure again, you can then move your stop loss right here because it's expected that price would then retrace back down, mitigate this demand zone, respect this now strong low, and then continue up again. Okay. And as price keeps doing that, you can then just move your stop loss into profit further and further under these lows because you know, okay, if price comes down and breaks that low, then it's most likely going to reverse anyways. And I don't, I'm not going to like hold it all the way back down to here. I just want to take my profit. And if it doesn't reverse and it continues, then just get back in. It's pretty simple really. So that's really only, the only way I am going to talk about moving your stop into profit. I guess there's one other scenario that does happen from time to time. So if you, for example, are trading, um, and you get hit with like news or something, right? You get like a move that's just absolutely ridiculous that looks like this, right? So it's like maybe these moves are like whatever, like 15 pips, 20 pips, 
20 pips and then all of a sudden you get like 100 pips 150 pips and you are just like struck with profit in like seconds or this is like a news event and it just flashes up like that first of all for people who are watching this video that's not a normal thing okay as you get as you get better with understanding smart money concepts and as you get better with um these this principle as a whole you'll start to see where news actually does align with the expectation that we with our expectation of order flow you'll start to see okay you'll get legs like this where it's like yeah wow we are pro trend and that moved really fast but then and like it was a huge move and there's all this momentum and stuff going over price um to continue that or causing price to continue that uh, pro trend move. But if you look and you go back to the actual Forex factory calendar, um, right here might be NFP day or something. You know what I mean? Like it might, there would be some kind of high impact news in this move right here that propelled it. Okay. And in my opinion, that's just smart money masking their injection of orders into news events and saying like, oh well, yeah, a lot of people took that as a positive thing. So they started buying. Well, that's just smart money buying. And just the people have just come up with that um, reasoning. And so without getting out onto a tangent on that, if this does happen to you, and if you are in a trade right here, say for example, you're in this trade right here, what do you do with your stop loss? Well, in my opinion, I would just be taking my profit and just closing the trade. Because what is likely to happen is you'd have a huge um, gap in price that needs to be filled, right? This would just be one gigantic or multiple gigantic expansive candles that have um, liquidity gaps in between them that need to be filled. And so most of the time when you get huge expansions like that, price will trade all the way back down and mitigate something down here or wick it or whatever, do something crazy, and then it will just do this and then go back again that direction, at which point you could just get back into the trade. So if something like that happens, then just take your profits. It doesn't even matter if you close it right here or right here or here or here or here or here or whatever, just take it because that is obviously gonna be something that has a huge impact on your trading account. And you wanna just like, don't even try to, oh, well, it's gonna keep going, it's gonna keep going, it's gonna keep going. This also goes into a little bit more of the management side of things, but yeah, for this video, we'll just keep it at that, that if you get a huge move in that direction or in your direction that looks like that, then just take it. Don't even worry about your stop loss or moving it into profit.